I've never been in a studio ever with no material and just gone in and said, oh, I've got this idea. To go in the studio and set the amps up and just, yeah, man, we just went in and just fucking played, you know, whatever was all, that's not art, that's, to me, that's not art, that's just fucking about. To me, art is writing it and rewriting it. To get from a point of playing the first chord to listening to it at the end, there's got to be some kind of emotional journey between you and the song. It can't just be like fucking a thousand percent inspiration. It doesn't work like that for me. One, two, three, four. I guess I'll always be from here on in the job in minstrel, do you know what I mean? You've got the acoustic guitar and we'll try and write great songs. Sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't. I like the kind of the discipline of that. It's like, this is what I've got. I've got no band. How am I going to do something new with this? Went on holiday, just took a real kind of foot off the gas and just listened to it, which is a great thing. I listened to it for whatever it was, maybe six or eight months or something like that while we were getting ready to move house and Sarah was getting ready to have the baby. So it gave me a real kind of perspective of what I wanted to do with it in the end. Somebody said to me, have you got a song called If I Had A Gun? And I was like, you can't possibly. And I, how do you know that? And he said, oh, I was listening to it on the internet. And I was like, what? And he kind of told me, you go on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. And lo and behold, there's me from some sound check singing the first verse and a tiny bit of the chorus and then kind of la 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 and the rest. And there's a few wrong chords in there. Don't be noticed to me there's sign of kids in there or staff recording them on their mobile phones. Same with everybody's on the run. Not many of the words, but just kind of feeling it out. And uh, so someone's put them up on YouTube. So I'm on YouTube watching this. And I wasn't thinking, oh, how dare they? I was thinking, oh, it didn't really change that much. I kind of nailed it first time round, really. One of the reasons why I say working with Knowles, he's one of the most positive, creative people I ever work with is because he absolutely works from a place of zero fear. I've listened to a lot of the kinks and particularly the Village Green era. The sound of it is one thing which is just incredible. But his style of songwriting and his different styles of songwriting is amazing. sent them the tracks they give you a call and say well we're, we've got choir practice on Tuesday we've done some stuff do you want to come up and listen to it and you're like alright you go to somebody's house to the kitchen in Crouch End it's actually someone's house there's actual fucking pets in this house and kids watching telly there's about 20 or 30 people well, the full choir can't come tonight because you know um, blah blah there's just going to be a few of us so I kind of oh he's got the chair for you here and then they start singing your song, you know. But it sounded great. It was great working with them. Nice people. They've done a great job. Booked a studio immediately in Dean Street. There was just me and a guitar, and I brought a bass. I didn't, no drummer. Kind of got a drum machine out, and we done the drum pattern. Can anybody have played the piano? There's one engineer kid who was just making the tea. Here we go in. Maybe, maybe. Fucking right. Here we go. Rain for the car. Maybe. It's like, maybe, I know. maybe. I think uh, from a writing point of view on a few things, I think he has been honest, yeah. When you're 20, you can write about things that don't exist. 
when when you're 45, you've got to write about things that mean something to you, and you know you you've got to say something about your experiences. Or you can still make you can still make shit up. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs>